Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to shade skin, even though I have a video on how to shade skin on a sketchbook already. <laughs> but my process changed a little, so I decided to create a new one. So here I'm not painting the whole face, as you guys can see, I'm just painting, I'm just going to paint the half face. Also, I do not have my mic, so bear with the audio in this video. I'm like waiting until I go back home and use my mic. So until then, uh, just, you know, just don't use maybe, don't use your earphones or something like that. So here what I am doing is uh, I have these rough lines. So whenever I have some rough lines, I actually start by darkening them up a little. And then I pick up a smudge brush and I blend these sketch lines out. And now you have to pay attention here. You don't want to use colorless brush. You have to use smudge brush while you are blending out these rough sketches and if you don't know the difference between the two i have a video on it and i would highly recommend you guys watching it if you don't know the difference between the two to blend those sketch lines only use the smudge brush so once that is done i am taking up this a slightly darker color than the skin color now as you guys can notice um, the base color of the skin I already have it on the background so yeah but your bag your background color might differ from the one that I have right here so just to make sure you are using a skin color first as the base now once you have that what you want to do is you want to pick up a slightly darker color than the skin color and I use this color to initially add some shadows here and there so that those shadows can later on in my process guide me as to where I should add more depth to the face. And that is the reason why I'm creating these shadows with this color. As you guys can see, I just added um, around the nose, also around the lips. Now, it's really simple, you guys. You just have to, um, uh, if you have some reference with you, it can help you in the process. But I don't use the reference when I'm painting the skin. So you can either follow what I am doing here uh, as in to create shadows or you can just look at the reference that you have also when you are doing this and when you are actually adding some shadows by the way here I actually picked up a colorless brush and not this much brush because I wanted to spread the color all around so yeah for it to make sense you'll have to watch the video the difference between the colorless brush and the smudge brush so what I was saying is when you are actually painting some shadows over the face, you want to make sure that you are also adding some harsh looking shadows. By that, I mean don't just blend out everything that you have on the face. As you guys can see around the face, I have these lines and you can just still see the harshness of those shadows if that is making any sense and you have to keep a good balance of those and i also went ahead and picked up a pink color to create a base shadow or a base color for the lips as well now this is just a base this first layer is only for the base but yeah i am actually shading lips in a separate layer so uh, painting skin is really easy you guys it's uh, not difficult at all not difficult at all so what you do is you actually gather a set of colors so as you guys can see I have four colors with this orange undertone and I have four colors with the pink undertone so you want to make sure the skin palette that you are using you are actually incorporating colors with two different undertones you never use colors from only one undertone and that is if you do that that is the reason why your skin or the skin that you're painting is going to look ashy and dead all right so always make sure to incorporate some sort of reds or pinks when you are painting skin or when you paint darker skin tone it's different for that so if you want me to create a video on that i actually have a video on that how to um, shade a darker skin tone i will link it down in the description so as you guys can see here what I am doing is I actually again some of the clips are missing so in the next layer what I did I actually picked up the darker version of the skin color which is the first color the brownish kind of color and I started going over the base layer that we created of shadows I started going over those shadows with this color making sure 
I'm not too harsh in this. Um, I'm not too harsh with the color. And also, uh, just to add a little bit of depth. All right. And I also added blush. And here, what I'm doing is I'm with this dark, really maroonish color. The color I use to create this rough sketch, rough sketch lines. I am actually darkening those um lines up not the whole sketch but the nostrils and also um between the lips i do that before i move forward with my next step which is to create another layer and pick up this maroonish color and i'm just going to incorporate that color um again on the skin and at the same time i'm gonna make sure that i'm not I'm really gentle with the brush all right because this color is really really deep and the reason why I wanted to incorporate this color is because I want to add some sort of um, pink or red tone to the skin so that it looks like it's a living real skin because real skin has blood if that makes any sense so I am being really really gentle with this color right now and I'm just adding it really really lightly so that's what I'm doing here and if you mess up somewhere you can always go back either use a colorless brush if you want to spread the color out or if you want to calm that color down you can always use a smudge brush and again I just forgot to film the main part where I actually shaded the lips it was easy you guys I just added a darker color than the base color of the lips over that first layer of the lips and I shaded and blended the color with colorless brush because it helps in spreading out the color that's what I did and I picked up a white color to add highlights to the lips and also to the face that's what I'm doing here I'm actually highlighting the face and highlighting is also simple you guys there are two ways you can either build it up slowly or you can just go you know go all in and create some harsh looking highlights on the face that looks good too like both of them looks good you can either you know create a first layer of highlight which is really light really gentle and then maybe add color to it add more color to a layer by layer if that makes you feel comfortable if not then you can just add mini dots and you don't have to blend those out because it does look good it does look good and in the end I what I did is I just picked up the brush I was using soft airbrush just look at the icon that I selected right here I'm forgetting the name of this brush but I think it's a soft airbrush and I only used this brush the whole tutorial so this is the only brush I used and I used a similar brush to also create a freckle effect on the face and to do that I just decreased the size of the brush picked up this really dark maroon kind of color and started you know adding these little dots around the nose and where I wherever I wanted the freckles to appear so it's so simple you guys it's really really simple all right so I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini quick tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram if you do create something out of my tutorial tag me on instagram i really love seeing your artworks other than that i will see you guys in the next video